Okay, let's talk about the dumb thing I just did. There's gonna come a point in your life when you're yeah, faced with something it. that truly terrifies you. Okay, you got it. Okay. And you only have one choice. Okay, here's the thing. In my head, I'm like this unstoppable, made of steel, superhero type person, right? I'm not afraid of anything, I'm down for any challenges, blah, blah, blah. There are a few things that scare the shit out of me. Spiders, get away from me, Satan. Not knowing the future, like what? Or falling from something high and plummeting to my demise. Do I look like I'm out of my mind? So today I decided I'm going to put my fears to the test. I'm gonna challenge myself to three things that scare the living linguini out of me. I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's Italy, I had to make a joke there. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. So let's dive face first and balls deep into my own personal nightmares and see if I can overcome my fears. <laughs> yeah. Challenge number one is for me to fly across the globe to a foreign country that I have never been to and where I do not speak the language or know anyone. So I chose Italy. I got a girl, she looked too fine. Always bring me whiskey and wine. Up to the morning and dinner and night. Everything she do, she do just right. When I say, what you want, what do, she say, just one. I want from you a little bit of rock, a little bit of roll, a little bit of rock. Okay, I have no Wi Fi, no cell service, no signal. A little bit of rock, you know, I'm feeling good. Itty bitty little bit of rock and roll. Buongiorno. I'm in Italy. Cool. Challenge, challenge number two is to create an Italian music video. What if I try to sample sounds that feel very Italian? I'm gonna try to make a little song out of it. <laughs> I have to try to find some kind of piping or something that I can beat. I stole some utensils from my hotel. <laughs> Excellent, those should do well. All right, without further ado, cue the music video. I think we got him. And now we've arrived at the final challenge. So I want to break it down for you a little bit. This is going to involve a cliff, some water, and this. And you know what? Probably a whole lot of thoughts going on. Something like this. Something like, what have I done? Send help. This is the end. And hopefully, let me explain a little. 
I am going to jump off a super high cliff and free fall down a long way into the ocean. See, so like one of my greatest fears is just not having complete control over a situation. And so the idea of free falling and plummeting through the sky to the ocean down below. So a while ago, Red Bull actually reached out to me, which honestly was a total dream come true. And they were like, hey, we would love to give you the opportunity to create something dope. Is there anything you want to do? And needless to say, this is when things get really interesting. <laughs> The cliff is me. I am the cliff. I am the water. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. Okay, if I'm gonna pull this off, I'm gonna need some help. So meet Jessica. Jessica is a pro cliff diver who's agreed to train me, and let's just say she's pretty badass. This is Jessica, everybody. How are hey. you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing good, yeah. <laughs> Walk me through your mindset. There's this like drive behind me when I feel like a fear and I feel like I have to come up, overcome. Uh -huh. And then once I do it, it's just like pure like bliss. Just and, like, amazing. Yeah, it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Like, Any final last words for me? There's this thing that Cliff Jumpers say, and it's, you gotta say, just send it. And it's like just when you're fully going for something. So if you feel fear and you're just like, Send it. Just send it. So she's gonna teach me her warm up stuff. I'm pretty certain I'm gonna fail miserably at all of this, but you know, send it. <laughs> We're not sending it yet. See, I already failed at this. Oh, okay. Kicking, butt. Kicking my own ass. Yeah. All right, arm circles, warm up the shoulders. Okay. Do you ever just feel like Titanic moments when you're on the platform? Sometimes. I'm flying, Jack. <laughs> I'll do them in my head. Your turn. I can't wait. Yes! Uh, that? Perfect. Okay. Did you hear her say this? She said perfect. Perfect. She's excellent. excellent. Let's, Let's continue. continue. Kick your leg up as high as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass you or anything, but I'm pretty impressive at these kicks. Oh look, I hit it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boom! Nailed it! <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I should not have had those pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> Now you're ready. Now I'm ready. Ready for what? We're gonna do a full out trading montage. Jack over here. What are you doing? This is not what we came here to do. Yeah, this is what I came here to do. I will destroy you. You're not even ready. Wipe that smile off your face. Okay, it's time to send it. I'm gonna send it, all right? Just send it. Okay, we can do this. I just need to get a little, a little pumped. Who? You looking at me? No, I'm gonna make you my bitch, Cliff. Knock it out, knock it out. I'm gonna make you my bitch. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Okay. <sighs> it's the night before. <sighs> I'm excited, <laughs> I think. I know to some people it's not gonna seem like a big deal. And whatever, you're just like, jump off a cliff into water. I've just been so tired inside, if that makes sense. The last year was just so hard on me as far as like my anxiety and... <sighs> okay, I'm not getting emotional. Things just got so bad with, with this. <sighs> Mentally, emotionally, as cheesy this may be, I feel like taking this jump is just, for me, it's going to signify just releasing old shit that's just held me down for way too long. I don't I don't know if you guys relate to that or not. I'm I'm tired of just doing the same old thing. All right, I 
think I'm gonna try to sleep for a couple of hours and then, and then we're doing this. Good night and I'll see you guys in the morning. I slept about two hours. My brows are still on. <sighs> I wonder how many people jump off cliffs with brows on. It's like diving, but make it fashion. <laughs> <coughs> I don't, I'm too tired to feel nervous right now. I guess I should get up. Yeah, excellent. Great idea. Pretty sure it's all downhill from here. Let's do the jump! <laughs> you know, I always say if you're gonna do something stupid, you might as well do it big. Money don't sleep, gotta pay me by the minute. Kind of thinking if I go into this with like all of the confidence in the world, or at least pretending that I have all of the confidence, that somehow I'll fool myself into not being as terrified as I actually am. We'll see how that works out. Get money, mama. Get money. Get money, mama. Get got it. Get money, mama. Well, the moment of truth has arrived and I'm feeling really, really anxious now. All right, I am um, clinging to the edge of this cliff right now. Let's just do this, let's, let's do this. So this is 12 meters. 12 meters is very high, isn't it? That's high, that's very high. Oh. Letting go of all of my fears. But then, but then you're gonna just send it. So in this moment, this very moment right here, I felt a fear that yeah. I had never okay. felt. It was actually physical. I think standing on the edge of that cliff, I finally had perspective of what was happening, and it scared okay. me. Okay, you got this. Okay, okay, wow. But I came here to do this. Okay, 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 all right. So I just told myself to breathe. Okay, okay. ready? Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay? Okay. Sent it. 
I think we all have obstacles that we create for ourselves that keep us from being what and who we want to be. And you might think you're only capable of so much, but then one day you wake up, take the jump no matter what the size and realize you're capable of so much more. I used to think that my fears would keep holding me back, but not anymore, because now I just send it. <laughs>